Hello, this is Jeff Ryle from G4 Geomatic Resources in Stafford, Houston, Texas. And today we're going to do video number two in our series of basic uh, coding and line work. And in this video, we're just going to do, do we're going to upload the code list that we created in video number one. And just do some basic coding of points using the attributes and also show code information in quick coding. Okay, um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna load the code list that we created in Infinity. So we'll hit Settings, Tools, Transfer Objects, and the, we'll pick the object to transfer as code list from the SD to internal. And this will take a look under the code subdirectory and uh, we have our code list right there, code 823, we'll hit OK. And now it's transferred up from the SD card to the uh, internal RAM. Let's hit the F6 JAWS button right there. And what we'll do is hit F2 new. And I'm gonna create a new job and I'm gonna call it code coding uh, PTS for points. Okay. And we'll page over coordinate system. I can actually leave this, if I was using GPS, I could put a state plane uh, for now, I'm just using a total station, so I can pick whatever uh, coordinate system I wanted. For now, I'll just put none. We'll page over in the code list. We'll make sure it's the new one, the 823. Okay, so we'll store that. And then we have that job is now active. If I wanted to, I could hit function lock to lock that job. That way I can't change it. Okay. All right. Um, so now we've got the job allocated. Um, I'm hit settings connections and we'll connect up to the uh, instrument via Bluetooth if this is a robotic we'd use the long range but for now I'm just going to do Bluetooth and uh, we'll pick the uh, total station and then hopefully the blue light will come on and we'll pair up with the uh, total station right there connected to total station and right now I'm just gonna use a total station with reflectors. Okay, so now we're paired up. Um, I can go to setup and set an orientation. And in this case, I don't have a, I'll just put a new point, arbitrary point. I'm just gonna call it 1,000, 5,100. I have a code attached. I could come in here and I could type in T and uh, scroll down Take a look at my T's, traverse points, or control points, or CP. There it is. CP's control point, and store that. And I've coded that uh, first setup point as a control point. There's our height. I can hit the measure height button right here. The new ones have a measure height. Our scale's one. We'll hit OK. Um, right now, I'm sort of set up. Uh, we'll keep that elevation there. That's fine. The height, instrument height. We'll hit OK. And we'll backsite an arbitrary point called point number two. I'm shooting at reflectless. And let me just say that this uh, direction or azimuth is 200 degrees. I'll hit distance. And right now we're not leveled up. So I'm just going to turn off the compensator. So if you were set up on a bridge that was moving, you can turn that off. We'll hit F2 distance. And then hit F1 set. That's really important. And that'll set the azimuth. All right. So now we're set up and we're ready to collect some data. So once again, the, the code that we're going to do, we can do it with a total station or GPS just for speed and ease of use. I'm just shooting a bunch of points in the wall just to show you the uh, functionality. First thing to do is we're going to go to settings, customization, coding. And right now we're going to use uh, like as coding. Uh, the code points only with no line work. And we're gonna have all this prompt for our mandatory attributes. So even the codes that we have loaded with attributes will still uh, work. And there's actually a quick coding button as well. So we created a hotkey to turn that off and on. And we'll show you quick coding in, 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 in the data collection as well. Okay, up here is a user defined key. So in here, uh, page number one, I put an angle right, my code, code description, also put code information. We'll show you how to use code information that can tag information to your code. Once again, maybe you came across a control point and you want to put like RPLS 5672 as a note.
that will peg it to the code. So that's an interesting feature as well. Okay, now what we can also do is page number two, this is where our offsets are normally in, but I'll put my target height on page number two as well. Okay, and I'll explain why I did that in the future. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna skate back out. We're now orientated. If I go to the measure screen, comes up and um, what I'll do now is I'll, I'll hit the star button which is my favorites and there's set hotkeys and let's take a look at the hotkeys that we defined so I've got F7 as user app tools F8 is data view and edit viewer data when we do line work we'll have F9 to begin line and F10 to begin three point arc because this is the line commands I use the most here's a power search for robotic if I page over um, we're going to use a load code template um, when we do some coding, and we also have a, uh, you know, the function F8 would be a toggle quick coding off and on. Okay, so we'll go through that as well. All right, so let's take a look here. If we hit function display, um, I unchecked to display the RTK base station under points. I have it checked to see the points, points online. That's not arbitrary. If you want to pick that up, yes or no. I want to see the point ID and the point codes. I really don't want to see the heights of the points because that could clutter the screen up, okay? And then under function settings, I have it checked to see point uh, page number two. And also if you do auto record, you can check that and define how you want to auto record points. Okay, so we come here, we now see the screen, we have page number one, page number two, and the auto record is up here, okay? And here's, the, here's our job name up there, okay? So what we're gonna do is on a, uh, we shot that point in, uh, I'm going to shoot another point in. We'll call it point number 10. And right now we're on our back site, so see the angle right is 0, and our azimuth up here is 200. Okay? And so what I'll do now is I'll shoot my second control point. And what I could do is I could type in IR. And see, so, so I type in, it'll search that list. It'll come up and I have the code and code description. And if I hit measure, that'll shoot in my second control point. It says and attribute is mandatory. So remember to find the attributes uh, in the code list. And now I can pick off that list. I can scroll using my arrow keys. Is it a half inch, five eighths? Condition, is it good, bad, disturbed, spinner? So we'll just say it's good. Is it capped? And we can say capped or not capped. There's a last button here too. So this is last button. If you have a bunch of the attributes that are the same, the last button will populate that. So we'll hit OK. Okay. So you can see the mandatory attribute could be uh, something that really speeds you up. And if you pick up iron rods, every time they pick it up, it, it, it makes you pick from that list. Make sure you have all of that information. Okay. All right. Um, what we can also do is there's code information. So let's say I came across, um, say, a valve, uh, water valve, okay? And I'm just gonna move the instrument over a little bit and we'll take another shot. And if I hit distance, what we'll do, I'll hit this and we'll zoom in. And then we can zoom out just to basically see our points and what we're picking up, okay? This is code, code information here. So this, this puts information right after your code. So if you wanted to, you can put a space or a blank. Um, so let's say that that valve had a, had a number. I could put dash, the number is one, five, two, three on that water valve, okay? And that way when I hit measure and shoot that point, that code information will be stored on that point, okay? What's important to notice is the code information is sticky. So after you finish doing that, you want to back up and delete that. Okay, so I'll use the back arrow key to delete that. Otherwise, you have that code information on every point. And there is a way you can toggle that and have prompts on. So you do a lot of that. We could hit the home key. And there's no hotkey for this, but you have to go to settings, point storage, and prompts. So in this case, you could say, hey, I want a prompt for point ID, target height, code, and code information. So if you, if you started shooting in information like that with codes, you can come over here 
We'll take another shot, point number 12. I'll hit the measure button. And they'll, they'll prompt to say, what's your target height? What's your code? And then any code information, okay? So we'll back that up, water valve. And then once again, if, if you want to get rid of that information, if you do a lot of code information, I, I recommend doing this. Okay. All right, so we just shot it in. There's there's our codes here, our information. It's kind of cluttered. We're, we're working in a small area. Now, what we'll do now is we'll take a quick look. There is also an option for, let's turn off those prompts right now. So if I wanted to, I'll go back, settings, point storage, prompts, and then I can turn off these prompts, okay? I want to show you quickly um, how to do uh, quick codes. So what we'll do is we'll go back, hit measure in our data collection screen, and it says quick codes deactivated. That's a hotkey. So if I hit function F8, it'll say quick codes are activated. And what happened is I've now defined um, several codes like I've got uh, natural ground is coded as a quick code number one, top of curve is num number two. So what I can do is when quick coding is activated, I'll just move my instrument. And if I hit button number one, it'll just shoot and code it as natural ground. And see that's sticky? So I can just keep on going and say shoot natural ground. And that code's Point stuck stored. there. And we'll do another natural ground. Point stored. And now let's say we hit the uh, top of the slope. That would be number three. So let's move on over. If I type in number three for my quick codes, this is a one button, it'll shoot and code top of slope. And then number two would be toe slope. So we'll move over from top of slope. Then type in number two for toe slope. Boom. So what we can do is we're collecting data really fast with the quick codes. And this is just uh, in the mode without the, the like a line work, and that can help speed you up. And I got a quick code of number four for iron rod. So I move over here that says another iron rod over here. I'll type in number four. This iron rod. Once again, the attributes mandatory. I'll hit the last button, and then we'll hit OK. Let's store that store. point. So I just want to show you some quick, basic coding without the line work, and um, We'll do another video on using the line work uh, commands. Hey, um, we'll keep on moving. I just want to quickly show you in Infinity how we created the um, the codes and the quick coding. So I come back here to Infinity, hit Tools, and we're now under the code table. We'll come down here. We're going to edit our our code is that we did. And how do I define the, qu the, the quick coding? Uh, once again, we just pick uh, the codes that we're working in. So see here it says natural ground. If I just click on here, I just typed in one, and that's how you define your quick code that we used on the, that previous uh, example. And once again, if I went under a survey, I might have a couple quick codes down here. So once again, I typed in, you know, toe, top, so you can pick your top uh, top of nine codes that you want to use. The guys can write down a piece of paper, and after a while, they'll they turn that on. They do a lot of that for collecting a lot of data fast, like topo boundaries. Uh, their top ten codes can really speed you up. Once again, whenever you make any change, hit the OK button. There's no save button that'll store it. But once again, if you're not doing the like a line work, this quick code is another way to speed you up. Okay, so we'll hit OK to save it. And uh, even if you do this, uh, you don't use the like a line work, please watch the next video because we'll go over how to collect points using the like a line work mode that could um, offer some great tips to speed you up as well. Okay, well, thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it beneficial.